Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So it's been like Oisashi Booty forever since I've did One Piece. Like what the hell? This is like the 20th anniversary for the One Piece anime and here I am just not watching the anime, not reading the manga for three whole months. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Like there's not been a single day where I didn't think about One Piece. Like every single day I thought about reacting to One Piece but I was just like putting it off or I was like... Uh, I was too tired. I'm like, there's like another week. I can make time and squeeze in more and then, you know, somehow six chapters later, but I'm here. We're gonna read all these chapters together. I have not been spoiled on anything, but I think I've seen like a quick thumbnail of Big Mom and Sanji. I'm not really sure, but it was like a couple weeks back with the Sanji and I, and I think like Big something with Big Mom, but I have no idea what. Yeah, when she saw the news about Luffy's bounty, and then she was like, that thing, and then it's like, what the hell? And then with Sanji, I think since, like, Queen was supposed to come, even though I know, like, uh, Drake and Page One are here, but Queen was supposed to come, so maybe Sanji has a fight, and maybe something with the raid suit? Like, I, I don't know, I haven't seen anything. I can't wait to get back into these chapters. I'm trying not to look at the title. I'm reading it on uh, Jay Meany's box. I'll link it down below like usual. I left off at 9.29 I think so we're gonna get into chapter 9.30. Hopefully 9.31 and 9.32 also. It's called Ebisu Town. Hmm. Don't recognize that name. Cracker on the cover on the dolphin. Cover page request. Uroge and Cracker racing on dolphins. And he's just like leaving Uroge in the dust. At first I was like, oh, because Uroge is... Is he a devil fruit user? Oh shit, I don't even remember. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible. I know Cracker's a devil fruit user, but he's not scared of the water. He's just like, here, have some crackers. Bye-bye. But I think partially because like the dolphin is like... Oh, I see. The dolphin is going to eat the crackers and it's like shaking. Yeah, trying to mess you up. Oh, and this time it's a pen name I don't know by O.O. We go a little bit back in time. Laughter fills the air. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. This is one of the towns that survived off of the flower capital's leftovers. Ebisu Town. Oh, you're back. Tonoyasu. Oh, he said he was like from the, the village of the scums or something, was it? Uh, I don't know. I kind of skimmed through the previous chapter, so yeah. Forgive me. Even though you just got home, we can't feed ya. Yeah, ha, ha, I'm starving to death over here. They're so cheerful. This town's a little bit different from the leftovers town in Kuri. And he's like, Yo, you're quite the sharp one. Everyone here looks so happy, right? That's because out of all the living creatures in this world, humans are the only ones that have the ability to laugh. Yo, so it'd just be a waste if we didn't make use of it. A massive waste. Ha, 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 ha. That's nice. You know, laughter fills the belly when there's nothing there, right? Family and warmth fills the belly. Mother, I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> but like, you might go a little crazy if you stay here too long. My tooth fell out through the malnutrition. <laughs> uh, even if it hadn't fallen out yet, you couldn't have used it anyway So since there's no food. <laughs> Toniyasu, who's the Ronin? He's carrying three swords on his waist. <laughs> oh, it's true. He's got three swords. And they're all long swords to boot. Oh, yeah. Like, I think in one of the previous chapters, like, only samurais can hold swords. So they're like, whoa. See a samurai? What? Hey, is that your sh... Is that your shtick? Wahahaha! <laughs> hey, hey, this is the man I fell for, heart. It must have been difficult to have such a weird man follow you around. Hey now, I'm the best sweet talker in the world. <laughs> Somebody dared to do that to Zoro? <laughs> Are you really? Look, this man's making a scary face. Smile for us! <laughs> Smile for us! Something good will happen to this town after all. Swish. Oh yeah, did you hear Tonyasu? He visited us last night. The witching hour boy. Really? Is it the Robin Hood boy? Who? Nobody knows who he is or where he came from. He always appears at Ushimitsu. Explain at the end of chapter. Damn. He runs around the capital, stealing money from the wicked and wealthy, and then gives all of it to those in the poor district before he departs. I wonder who he really is. Thank goodness for him. Ah ha ha. Like the saying goes, luck will come to those who smile. That's why we all collectively brought a feast. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Here, have a cup, Sir Ronin. The water's clean. Did you buy with that money? The water's like 60% full. The cup is like badly damaged, but clean water you had to buy that i mean remember tama and she drank that poisoned water looks around there's a broken well no it's okay don't worry it won't give you a stomach ache 
You came here with Yasu, so you must be a good person. Drink it. Everybody is getting a cup. Clean water? Clean water. It tastes good, right? Doesn't it taste fresh? Hey, you're making a stern face again. Your luck will run out if you don't smile. Because of the way we laugh, everyone calls this the Ebisu face here in Wano. That's why this count is called Ebisu. Poverty can't defeat us. Crime won't make us any richer, so it'd just be a waste if we didn't laugh. A massive waste. God of Fortune, Ebisu is commonly depicted as a fisherman with a wide smile. Wow, this town. Man, these, these people are strong. Like, it must be so tough. Like, just... Even, like, forcing yourself to smile, it must be hard, but, like... Hey, it fills the belly, it just... Anyways, in the present, Onigashima, they're coming in from the southwestern sea. Sink them. Don't let that old hag enter this country, no matter what. The old hag? They can't be talking about Big Mom, can they? Because that's the only old hag I know who dares to come, right? To Onigashima. Oh, crap. Oh my god, I just look, look at the bottom, it kind of looks like her ship. They're using the car to charge through. How did they know how to climb the waterfall? So... I can't really see. It looks like that sunflower, you know, Big Mom's ship. They got the car pulling the ship. Big Mom's intelligence. Big Mom's intelligence gathering is top of the line. Shut up. Who cares about that? We already knew they were coming. Hurry up and sink them already. Oh, I thought they were having a meeting. He's just like, sink them, man. Yo, pa, 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 pa. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Who is it? Who is it? Is that, um... Pedals, pedals, there he is. <laughs> it's no use. They're deflecting all of the cannons. And you know, you see, oh, oh my god, I didn't think we'd see them <laughs> again so fast. Pedals, pedals, with this candy wall, um, smoothie with her sword. Maybe she'll be useful in this arc. Um, I gotta remember everyone's name. Oven with the genie. And the Big Mom's back again! <laughs> The Big Mom Pirates. Ah, I've arrived, Cap. <laughs> I've arrived, Kaido. Guess who's here? It's like, Kaido, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> uh, look out, Straw Hat. Ze Zeus or Zeus, you're coming back with me too. Oh yeah, I forgot. Nami took Zeus. Climb the waterfall. Woo, they used the carp. I want to see Katakuri. Where's my boy Katakuri? Or unless he's like retired or he decides to stay back on the island because I'm pretty sure Big Mom must have been pretty pissed that Katakuri, her second in command, lost to Luffy. I can't believe these fish are climbing the waterfall. It's a sight to see, Perodin. Don't let her get in. What the hell are you guys doing, you idiots? I know, you should get king or queen to, I mean, you know, the calamities, like, Forget about Luffy and the uh, um, samurais for a second. Just focus on Big Mom. She's coming! Entering the, entering the country by waterfall is beyond what we expected. Did Lilin bring any of her brats along? There are quite a few of them <laughs> uh, riding on the ship. Those are her executives. <laughs> They're just like, uh, yeah, she's got some of her kids. And she's like, those are her executives. The Big Mom parents are all her kids. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Kaido, if you weren't so drunk and trained your men more, like, I, besides the calamities and, like, you know, the ties with, like, X Drake and them, Hawkins, like... I don't really know who else he's got, because everyone else is those, like, um, the smile users, and, I mean, like, of course, up against Luffy and them, not that strong, but, like, against Big Mom and them, like, you know, th these all just seem like, uh, lackeys, even though they're, like, his soldiers. Yeah, Kaido, you, you better go into dragon form already, I don't know. Yeah, but, like, it'd be a waste if Kaido went into action so fast. Those are her executives! If they land here, it'll be an all-out war. Damn right! But we're not prepared at all to fight her at the top of the waterfall. And we've arrived to Wano Country! Ma 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 ha ha ha! Oh shoot! I just changed the page and I saw like a pterodactyl looking. Is that ki King? Cause, oh man, he looks good! Alright, Big Mom is at the top. The car finished pulling. Well, I mean, she's still in the air, but a ter, a ter, Teran Oden, Teran Oden, a Teran. I can't say it. Don't tell me it's King. Oh my God, he pushed the ship back. He pushed the ship back. There you go. Oh my God, he looks amazing. Yeah, and he he uses fire attacks, so like he's blazing up. He's burning up. King, a dragon dragon fruit, ancient beast model, Teradon. Yeah. Wah! Hmm. 
What did you think you could do? What did you think you could do with just one ship? Lord King knocked the ship down. I mean, obviously, it's not the end of Mama, even though we see her drowning in the water. Someone's like all of our executive are probably like, Devil Fruit users, but this can't be the end of her. At the same time, Flower Capital. Hey, why do we have to run away too? You beat up one of them, right? But they're only pursuing the soba shop owner? It doesn't matter why. If they find out about you guys, there'll be a manhunt for your whole crew. That'll be horrible. Nami-san and Robin-chan will be in danger. Hey, you guys, even if you do get caught, make sure you don't mention the samurai or the mink tribe. Die with your mouth closed. <laughs> Scary. Luffy would never say such a thing like that. I'm more realistic. And I mean, Luffy might accidentally slip, but I don't know. He's matured a little. Right. Why don't we hide our faces and fight? That'd only be option if we had a 100% chance of winning. Even a single wound would hurt our chances in the final battle. There's no reason to fight now. Who do you think you are acting as a captain? If I get caught, I'll spill the beans and save myself. No, Usopp. Law has to be the sub cap for time being since, you know, his bounty is at that level. Don't screw with me, you bastard. I'll protect you with all I've got. In this case, in that case, yay, it worked! Stop messing around! I don't think Saji meant you, but yeah, sure. Wait, I don't think any women are here. <laughs> okay, so he does mean you. Okay. Yeah, a lady! Huh? A lady? Huh? The, they're all oh, part of the top of the building, like, flipped upside down, huh? A house? What's going on over there? Please stop! I've got nothing to do with this! Oh? Oh my god, I see some kind of big bird dragon thing. Is this queen or... That's a soba shop. It's true that I sell soba, but without our shop, we won't be able to live in the capital anymore. Oh my god, is this queen another... I mean... X Drake is like the captain, so I don't think there's someone in his crew that's stronger than him. But this is a huge ass dinosaur dragon. Tell, tell me everything you know about the other soba shops. If you can't, then start shouting out the name Sangoro. That's the name of the idiot who dared to lay hands on the Kyoshiro family. Sangoro, get out here, damn it! Hee hee hee. Oh my gosh, he kind of looks like a Spinosaurus. I only know that just because of Jurassic Park 3, which I know nobody likes, but... Yeah, he's got that, like, the spine on the back. Uh, hee hee hee, although he's a weakling, he'll never show his face. I don't know why I thought his voice like that. Probably not. Ah, I think I'll find some fruit to eat next. A fruit, huh? Sangoro, show yourself! Get out here, Sangoro! Take responsibility for your actions! Hey, wait, Sanji! Please stop! We weren't involved either! You better tell everyone to shout out Soba Shop owner Sangoro! Woman's in trouble! There he goes! The hero! I'm right here! And he kicks him in the face, knocks him on the ground. That's him! The speciality soba shop owner, Sangoro! He actually showed his face! Mmm, he he he. So you so you came! That didn't take long. This is page one. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is page one. <laughs> oh, he looked different in the previous chapter. He was smaller, but obviously since he's a dinosaur, he could probably change forms. Yeah, I'm stupid. And I think they already mentioned in like the previous chapter he is a Spinosaurus. So my bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Really stupid. This is page one reporting. The target is on 6th Street in 2nd District. Uh, Roger, we will head to your location immediately. A dinosaur ability user. Uh, this is the address format of Kyoto, former imperial capital of the Japan. Damn it, you decided to show up now? Our livelihoods are ruined. Uh, what are you doing, Sangoro? Ignore them. If Draken or Hawks... I mean, uh, if, uh, what did I say? If Drake or Hawkins come, we're done for. Coincidentally, it seems this guy doesn't know my face. I won't expose myself or get injured, and I'll take care of this quickly. Oh my gosh, I see it on the bottom of the page. <laughs> I'll take care of this idiot quickly, although it'd be nice for us to recruit more forces. Taking out one of their works as well. Go on ahead without me. It'll be fine as long as my true identity isn't revealed. Oh, snap! Uh, scientific powers that he despised. One Piece will be on break next week. Not for me. Not for me! Cause he's got! He's got! He's got the number three! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see how he looks like. I mean, I know there was this like cover of him wearing the suit in one of the Germa covers. I think all of the straw hats were wearing the Germa outfit. That would, that kind of ruins it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be different because I think in that one he was wearing his like straw hat color is blue while Usopp is yellow. But in 
Jerma 66, his color is yellow. So, uh, yeah, let's get into that next chapter. All right, I quickly switched to my phone camera just because my other camera is dying because I didn't charge the batteries. So, uh, yeah, hopefully by the next chapter, like, I got some juices to use on it. Yeah, anyways, we're going to continue with chapter 931. Sanji is going to transform with the Jerma gear. Oh, my gosh gonna be wearing his yellow raid suit oh my goodness i need to get back to the anime because i'm not sure if the whole cake island arc is done i think it is but you know reverie is around the corner and like i want to get back into watching wano arc i'm not even sure how i'm gonna do this because i'm like so many episodes behind yeah, if you have suggestions, I'm thinking about possibly skipping chapters, uh, skipping skipping episodes, or just like watching it and then just editing it out. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. But uh, anyways, chapter 931, Osoba Mask. Soba Mask. Oh, because like he's the Soba owner and he's going to wear a mask. Cover page request. Frogs tap dancing happily in a puddle that Nami made. Pen name, Noda, Noda Skywalker again? Lucky this person. And Zeus is like making it rain. And Nami's got this like cute leaf umbrella. That lucky frog on her chest. It's cute, but we want to see something even cuter. Something even hotter. <laughs> the Sanji, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The secret weapon that his brother gave him. Hmm, is that a can that you're holding? The soba shop owner actually appeared. He's stupid. He's just gonna get himself killed. But if he had waited any longer, the whole town would have been turned into ruins. Yep, that's our Sanji. So worried about other people. What are you doing, Sangoro? I didn't see a problem with leaving the town to its fate. Yeah, but Sanji's a kind, caring person. He can't just sit back and let the whole town be ruined. And he's like, we're gonna find him anyway, so might as well now. We're up against an emperor. Being stubborn doesn't always work when you're trying to save someone. So, if I throw away my pride, then I might be able to save them. I know, right? He was so, like, when he saw his wanted poster, like, no, I wanted to throw away the Vin Smoke name. But, now it's his time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If I throw away my pride, then I may be able to save them. Of course, that's assuming that this thing here has the power to help. Please, Oda, don't make go wrong like please make this right for Sanji right you know Sanji has so many like good moments but there's also been moments where it ends with like something comedic Whole Cake Island had a lot of like downs and like towards the end a little bit of high for Sanji but it wasn't like as satisfying so please please Oda please do Sanji well. I mean it's already written but like I'm still praying all right here we go it's spinning simply wearing this doesn't make me part of a germa so I might as well try it out on you Oh my gosh, he's turning. Oh my gosh, this is the transformation. <laughs> Whoa. His, his, uh, his, uh, you know, with those, like, um, sushi owners, the soba, they wear that, like, jack Japanese jacket with the stripes. Whoa, whoa. Hey, you shouldn't strip down in public. Oh my gosh, he's, like, doing the thing. I like the swirls. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Luffy is in here to witness this. And it's, like, surrounding him. Mess. What the hell? Oh yeah, and Usopp and Frankie hasn't seen this, so they're all the more like shocked. <laughs> Remember back in like a uh, uh, Thriller Bark, they all did that like robot thing, and <laughs> okay, I see the three, the cape, a transformation. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready. Oh my god, he looks so much like Ichichi. <laughs> That's so cool. What is that technology? What is on the roof? It's the hero! <laughs> Law's like, what the hell is he wearing? <laughs> that suit, it is without the doubt. Doubt. Germa 66, number 3, stealth black. Oh my gosh, he looks so cool! Oh my god, why does his hair is like a mix of Ichiji and Niji's? Like, just up and down and he's got the glasses like the mask that perfectly like covers his face oh my gosh it'd be funny if all the girls love him in this form and he like changes back and he's like oh to you yeah and Usopp like you know Usopp is Soga King it'd be so funny if like Usopp dressed back as Soga King like I, I want to see a Soga King reunion with uh Drama 66 stealth black too that's such a nice name it's not like something yellow yeah this is like I forgot, but like, I, I just looked up a picture, but like, the rest, the rest of them like, are all colorful, you know, so 
Sanji is all black. I can't wait to see that. And you know, like there was this, yeah, and I was saying like in, see right here, like Sanji is blue and then Usopp is yellow. I was scared that Sanji might kind of look like this drama suit in like the special cover art, but no, he looks completely different anew. Like he looks awesome. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Zoro fans, watch out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We all love Sanji, right? Oh my gosh, I realized Law is the one who's been like announcing it. So, you know, uh, Sanji's like, why do you know so much about it? <laughs> you know, Law is one of those soon did it, cool did it. Like, he tries to act cool. He can't show his like emotional side. But when he does, it's hilarious. Why do you know so much? Everybody from the North Blue knows. I don't care. Never call me that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I used to read the comic strips and I always hated the Jervas. I hate them too! <laughs> oh my goodness. Even the back of his hair has a little bit of uh, Reiju and uh, Yonji kind of look. Like he's like a mix of all of them. I, lo I love it. Oh, and he's calling himself the old soba mask. I got it. Looks like you're not just a simple soba shop owner. Tell me your name. I'm the old soba mask. The Osoba Kamen? That's so lame! Please come up with something else! Let us name you instead! <laughs> oh, Usopp and Froggy was so anticipated. I think it's our right name. Yeah, but how long is he gonna keep it? Like, if he has a new bounty and they use, they use the Osoba mask name? <laughs> uh, hey, Lizard, let's do this. It's time to see what the power of science is capable of. Oh, and you know, Sanji hasn't... You know, because like when he were kids, like he tra he trained with his brothers, but have they ever... Sh he's never actually used the suit, right? Because I, I assume like when his dad had made like miniature versions of the suit. Like I'm not sure like when he made the tech, you know, all that. Like I don't remember too much. But maybe he's just going by what his brother, you know, quickly whispered to him. What he remembers after he saw them use it. Pumps air into those special shoes. Blasts off into Page One's face. Smashes him into the building. Hmm? Where'd he go? Oh, no, no, no. I think Page One actually, like, tried to bite the building and Sanji dodge. He vanished. Hmm? From behind. Ooh, it hit him in the, like, the gut. Gah! Did it take him out? Such power, huh? Where'd he come from? He must be moving faster than our eyes can see. That's not it. It was written in the newspaper I used to read. Come on, Law. You're a fan. You're a fan. If you hated it so much, why would you read it, right? No, no, Law. Just admit it. You are a fan. There was a comic strip called The Warrior of the Sea, Sora. The evil army, Germa 66, were the antagonists in it. Yeah, isn't Sora like Sanji's mom's name? So like, was his parents like enemies turned like lovers? One of the mem- oh, Maybe Sora was like... Stealth Black, the original. I'll keep- I'll keep reading. One of the members was Stealth Black, a troublesome man who was able to disappear at will. Oh! Ah! He's, he's got the invisibility devil fruit that he wanted. I'm so sorry for screaming, but I, I, this is a plus for Sanji. This is a plus for Sanji. He was so mad at Absalom for having that invisibility devil fruit. And now he can't use it too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so happy for him, like, his perverted- <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be condoning this, like, as a female, but, like, it's just- I feel bad for Sanji every time he has, like, a lose, so, like, this is a plus for him. <laughs> oh my god, I- I already see him. Nami-san, you better watch out. Nami's gonna have to learn some observation hockey and <laughs> detect that. Oh. All right. <sighs> Will, he's able to blend in perfectly with any environment and become invisible to the human eye. Like, Usopp is down on right. Like, you know way too much. <laughs> What's up with this suit? Did I just make myself invisible? Oh my gosh, is he gonna do like a perverted pose? Like, yes! Like, I I, I assume he's gonna be so happy once he realizes it. And you know, I think, was it Shiryu? Yeah, from a few chapters back, he's unfortunately, they killed Absalon and took his powers. Aww, kid, kid Sanji again. So the clear, clear fruit allows its users to turn invisible. <laughs> I, I, 
there was a time in which I dreamed of becoming an invisible man and now I have met the man who consumed the clear clear fruit you are responsible for crushing my lifelong dreams my crushed dreams has been revitalized by the germ of science that, al that I always despised how ironic well this power will surely be useful for peeping on women's back no 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 in helping my crew boy what a dilemma <laughs> The cape is my shield. On my heels, there's an accelerator device. On my soles, a uh, flotation device. Like, this is perfect. He can fly and, like, you know, look down on whatever he wants. He can escape at the, at the speed of light. And he's got a shield in case someone's gonna throw something or hit him. I mean, if it's a woman, I'm sure Sanji would take a punch. Because, like, if they hit the suit, I'm pretty sure it's gonna damage their hands. He, he must be so happy, so happy. And on top of that, it's got transparency. So this is what a raid suit is capable of, huh? And, uh, all right, page one. Wow, he actually has a tattoo of page one on his chest. Oh, interesting choice. It kind of looks like Rage One. Anyways, an invisible man. This is getting weirder and weirder. Who exactly are you? Show me who you really are! And Sanji uses his legs. Oh yeah, Sanji... He's not gonna use his hands in fighting, right? I mean, technically it won't be his hands, but... So far, all we see him do is dodge, and then there was that, like, hit in the chest, but we didn't really see how he hit him, but obviously it'd be his legs, because Sanji's not gonna punch anyone. The guy kind of, like, throws Sanji against the building. Whoa, it went through a lot of buildings. Whoa, Sanji, are you alright? As expected of an ancient Zoan. I felt a little pain, but this suit is definitely durable. At this rate, the capital won't hold much longer. He's gotta end it now. Well then, all I need to do is deliver his body to boss Kilshiro, I suppose. I never did find out his true identity. Oh well. Hey, why are we leaving Sangoro behind? He told us to go on ahead without him. He did say that, but still. I'll ask Franosuke and Usohachi to modify the design later. Oh god. <laughs> Fix up the hair. I don't know. I mean, he needs he needs the glasses to protect his identity. So I can't wait to see a modified version of this. Right, it's gonna slam down. Yeah! They'll definitely send more people after us. We just keep causing problem after problem. We probably won't be able to stay in the capital. Let's head to Ebisu Town first. At the same time, they're all doing that little like fan dance and Robin's in the shadow. Oh yeah, you know, she's sneaking around doing her thing. An old and suspicious room. Oh my gosh, what is she gonna find? It's gonna end on a cliffhanger again, like it always does. This country has been isolated for centuries. Oh my gosh, what did we find out? Some history. Like, we do know that the, um... Oh, shoot. The, pone the poneglyphs were created here. So there might be some history, some shocking news that we're gonna find out. They crafted the poneglyphs. Yep, I was just saying. There must be one somewhere in this country. Perhaps there's a hidden door somewhere. Looking for something? Oh, shoot. Is it Kyoshiro? Is it King, Queen? It can't be... Kaido, that'd be like too scary. Huh? Eh? Did I skip a page? Just went back to the party. And Robin's back at the party. Did someone teleport her or what? Uh, the personal ninja squad of Wano Country Shogun, the Orochi Oniwa Banshu, the Ori... The Oniwaban are loyal secret agents that operate by the Shogun's direct orders. Damn, there's a lot of them. So many names I gotta know. Oh, okay. I thought we were back at the party, but this is the same room. All of the secret ninjas just show up. Hopefully not. Hopefully Robin, this is a Robin double, you know, because she can make a double of herself and then she can just, you know, snap out of it. Of course, her face is already revealed, so it doesn't matter. And they're like acting suspicious around ninjas. What a foolish thing to do. And then she's like, no way, did they do not know what a ninja is? She's probably an outsider. Oh, and the creepy dude with the really long head. Interesting. This feels like, like a different... I don't know, I feel like Mob Psycho. Yeah. You're quite the troublesome geisha, but I'll give you one chance to explain yourself. And I mean it when I say one. Oh shoot, he's got like the ninja symbol on his apron. I don't know what you call down there. He's got these massive earlobes. Yep, just see the sweat down Robin's face. The captain of the Oniwabashu, Fukuro Kuju. The name of one of the seven gods of luck in Japan, a tall-headed god of wealth, happiness, and longevity. Robin, I'm pretty sure she can make up a good excuse because, like, that's how she's been living her whole life. But, yeah, let me count. There's actually 11. Oh, they said there are seven gods, but there's 11 of these ninjas here. Unless some of them are just, like, assistants to the main ninjas. Kurikuri Beach, 
I'm worried about Big Bro Luffy. He's going to be fine, Otama. Nin Nin. But my master told me that nobody has ever escaped from Udon's prison. Tahoo! Momo's still training. It's true that Raizo still hasn't reported back yet. If I was stronger, I would go save him right now, but... Oh? What is that, Nin Nin? Is that Chopper? Oh yeah, it's Chopper. Big Mom. Big Mom! If they help Big Mom and she owes us... I don't, I don't know why Big Mom owe us, but... Damn, she doesn't die! <laughs> but we expected that. She's just laying on the beach. It's a person. Oh man, if they see pedals, pedals, and them again, it's like, hell no. Chopper is the only one who'd be able to recognize. And remember the time when they had to infiltrate her room to get Brooke back? This is gonna be slight recap of that. She's not big enough to be a giant, but she's certainly a large human. A woman? I wonder who's bigger, her or Kaido. Wah! That's... Ah! Chopper man, who is? Don't say another word. You'll wake her up. We need to run away right now. If she wakes up, she's gonna kill you, swat you like a fly. No, it won't matter, because even if we do run, she's here because she's following us. Then, huh? This woman is Big Mom. Be quiet. I'll kill her here and now. Yeah, like your sword can pierce through her skin. I'll just pretend that she's Kaido. She's the same as him anyways. Chopper man, you need to fully explain this to us, otherwise- I'll explain later! Okay, Momo's back to his dragon form. They don't know the dangers, they don't know. <sighs> she's moving- oh, she's twitching, it's her eyes opening! Cough, cough. Oh man, it's too late! Run for it! Oh! She has got amnesia. This could be the best thing that happens to us. This could be the best thing. She's reverted back to her six-year-old self. Where am I? Who am I? Huh? A big surprise. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is this the last page? Yep, it says end. Shocker after another. This chapter was fantastic from the Sanji powers and then yeah when they said Big Mom was gonna be in these chapters I had no idea. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I thought she'd be just doing something on her side. I didn't actually think she'd be coming. Did she say she was coming originally? And we also get introduced to those, like, the special ninja force. I can't say the name. Oni something squad. Big Mom has amnesia. My goodness. Oh, have I calmed down? Not really. Be back. Peace out.